with Bewitched Crafts and welcome back to the 12 Cards of Christmas. As always, we are starting with a white daisy card base that measures five and a half by four and a quarter. The first step to creating today's card is to run a piece of French vanilla card stock through your die cutting machine with this stitched lattice background die. The end result looks just like this. And as you can see, it's gonna cover a card front completely. Behind this, I'm going to put down a sheet of New England Ivy cardstock. Again, it measures five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm gonna adhere that with my tape runner. Just gonna line it up and cover the entire card front. Now I'm going to put this piece down with some liquid adhesive because these spaces are pretty small and it would be difficult to work the Tombow through them. You could, if you wanted to try it, work it on the diagonal, but again, there's some really small pieces here, so I'm going to try the liquid glue. Liquid glue will also give me a tiny bit more play as I try to line it up so I don't have to get it perfect the first time. So I'll just turn that over, set it down, and press. Now to decorate this card front, I've decided to use our Comfort and Joy card making stamp plus thin cuts dies. I'm going to be working with this Christmas tree here, so it cuts both the shape and the stamp comes out with the sentiment all in one. So I'm going to use some French vanilla cardstock and New England Ivy ink. I've applied my stamp to a my acrylic block. And I just need to get my foam piece to get some extra padding under there. So I'll put that under my cardstock, ink up my stamp. Perfect. Now I want to die cut this, and this does come with a thin cut, and because I don't want this to wiggle at all in my die cutting machine, I am, once I get it lined up, going to secure it with a piece of repositionable purple tape. So I'm just going to run this through my die cutting machine. And we end up with a piece like this. I'm going to actually add this to my card before I go on because the next step, the stickles, is going to take quite a while to dry. In fact, I would recommend setting this piece aside overnight. But first, I'm going to put down some 3D foam tape. I'm going to use this to adhere. my die cut, and I'm actually gonna double it up because I want it to really pop on the front of this card. I don't want it to get lost in the other French vanilla and the lattice. So I've got quite a bit there with two layers. So you can see it stands well up off the front of the card now. And I'm just gonna decorate my star with some goldenrod stickles. If you haven't used Stickles Glitter Glue before, I think you're really going to like it. It's easy to work with, and you get a lot of dimension and shine. There we have it. I hope you give today's card project a try, and come back tomorrow for the next of the 12 Cards of Christmas.